Hi kids, it's Dr. Tamara Fackrell here with another fun and creative project at CEHeroes.com. So the Finding Joy and Creativity book is what basically had me do all of the research on what I thought was the most fun 50 creat creative activities that I could find. And so one thing that I really wanted to do was make it so that the kids could play around with the characters a little bit more. So I've done that through putting the printables with the shrinkies and also um, with the puppets and also with the paper dolls. This is another little variation of it that we did, um, which is a little photo booth that you can do. So you just go to CEHeroes.com and you print the animals out and, and the photo booth pr pictures. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the swan today. And um, you just cut out the swan. I always like to do my cutting in um, big cutting and then I do the fine cutting right after. And so while I'm cutting this out, I thought I could teach you the lesson that you can learn from the photo booth. Um, it goes back to the idea of the whole series in itself. The idea of the book series is for you to be able to identify your natural style. And remember, you can go to CEHeroes.com and take the test and see what animal you are. So figure out what your natural style is, and that's where you're natural. And then to be able to learn the skills of every single style, because it's like a mirror and a match. When you um, are hanging out with foxes, and you can use the skills of foxes, then that works best. So it's mirroring and matching a lot of times. Um, sometimes it's harder with the ends, which is the turtle and the, um, and the lion. But on those, I usually just say that, uh, that you can use the, um, the one next to them or even, even that themselves. But mirroring and matching is an important part of the process. And the team working swan, it has its little sign. So I'm gonna just cut out the sign as well. And when we talk about, um, about the two center animals, which are the team working swan and the negotiating zebra, those are the ones that tend to be the easiest to use in relationships. So that means that we're going to be fair, that means we're gonna talk and listen, that means we're gonna give and take, that means we're gonna be creative. Um, when you're talking about needing to get your way, then that's when you're gonna use the I-team animals. And the I-team animals are, if you guys have read the books, you know it's the lion and the fox are the I-team animals. That's when it's important for you to get your own way, when you're standing up for your values, when there's issues with peer pressures, when there's something you really, really, really want to do. That would be the I-team animals. I just talked about the we-team animals, which is the, um, the zebra and the swan. And then the U-team animals is when you're going to be compassionate and do things for other people, and that's the elephant and the turtle. So, um, and you give other people their way with that. So, um, you basically just cut those out. You can use, uh, you can use popsicle sticks or straws or whatever you want. We're, in this demonstration, we're just gonna use star straws for the backing. And, um, I'm gonna actually put the bendable part of the straw right here so that you can have some variation on how you're using the straw. So it's just really simple. You tape it to the back. And again, I'm gonna put that bend right at the end of my, my page. And then on this one as well, you can use it just like this. Photo booth, team working swan, like this. Or another really fun idea that um, I also did with one of the kids that I worked with is you can cut out the eyes. So if we cut out the eyes around, goodbye eye. And then we cut out one more eye. The other thing um, to think about the animals is we're um, in, the, in the books that we're developing right now, which is the Stand Up For Me series, we're also just showing how each animal has weaknesses. So it's nice to know the strengths and weakness of your style so you can build skills in the, in the other areas. Okay, so look, 
team working swan. Um, you can also use it kind of more puppet-like if you want, and that's why if you use the bendable straw, it works that way, but you don't have to use it with straws. You can also do it with sticks or whatever creative thing you want. Remember with creativity, there's not one right way. So this is just something for you guys to establish photo booth. Um, if you're using it and you're using the books, you can utilize this. You can do the animal stories at the bottom. You can um, do also the characters. And so it's just a really fun project. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope to see you again um, on our next video that we have for our creative idea. And um, we there's more information also at ceheroes.com. Have a great day.